In the 18th century, this island was the center of the Arabic slave trade. Just south of the equator and about 20 miles off the East African coast in the Indian Ocean, nestled in amongst some paradise little islands, you will find Zanzibar, commonly known to sailors as the Spice Islands. Many people sailing in the area have actually said they can smell the island before they can see it. This island is renowned for its spices and a history of slave trade and also the birthplace of lead singer of Queen, Freddie Mercury. Centuries of different rulers has certainly taken its toll on this little island, from the Romans to the Portuguese to the Arabs and of course, without leaving them out, the British as well. Although the island does now belong to Tanzania, it does predominantly have a large Arabic culture. The traditional East African language of Swahili is also widely spoken on the island. Although this lovely island is predominantly known as the Spice Islands mainly because of its past trading in spices and also present day still trading in spices, between the 17th and the 18th century Zanzibar was a central point for the Arab slave trade. Many of the slaves were brought in from mainland Africa and neighbouring countries. Although many of the slave prisons have now been changed into museums, at the time, these were horrendous places to be. Many of the slaves lost their lives even before they made it to the local markets. This was mainly due to overcramping in the cells, malnutrition and ill health from the many diseases that were around at the time. They were taken from their cells to the slave markets within Zanzibar where they were sold to either local businessmen or international businessmen where they were put on international sailing vessels and shipped off to their final destinations. Zanzibar is definitely an island to visit. There's beautiful beaches, there's fantastic history and it's vibrant culture. This is Chef's Travels, I'm Kevin Harrington. Thank you very much for watching and hopefully see you on the next mission.